Hello all. I am Arshina Bruzwari, Assistant Professor, Computer Engineering Department at AISSMS IOIT. In this video, we are going to discuss the Agile methodology from the software engineering subject, second year computer. So first of all, we will see what is the Agile methodology here. So Agile methodology is nothing but the practice. It's a practice that promotes the continual iteration of development and testing throughout the software development lifecycle of the project. In the Agile model, in software testing, both the development and testing activities are concurrent, unlike the waterfall model, whereas in waterfall model, the development and testing are the linear activities. So first of all, we need to complete the development, and then only we can go for the testing, and like this. So it works in a sequential way, right? In Agile, we can say that the activities works in parallel in concurrent fashion. So the Agile development, software development methodology is one of the simplest and effective processes to turn a vision for a business need into software solutions. So Agile is a term used to describe the software development approaches that employ the continual plan, learning, improvement, team collaboration, evolutionary development, and early delivery. It, it encourages the flexible response to change. So here you can see the diagram here, you can see, as we know, the Agile methodology works in the iteration, continuous iteration. So we need to, first of all, have the iteration plan here. Yeah, suppose here are there are the four user stories, user story A, user story B, and user story C. So here you can say we can have the sprint cycle for every every user stories. Okay, so for user story A, we can have the sprint cycle. Now what is the sprint cycle? It is a time-bound activity which generally varies from the two weeks. It takes about the time of two weeks to four weeks. And in that activity, it is basically the cycle. Here you can see that it starts with define and code and then test. So that is the one sprint cycle is completed here. Same way for the story B and story C, we can have the different sprint cycles and then the U. So for this uh, different sprint cycles, we are assuming that the fixed time, suppose the time period is about to be two weeks. And the fixed resources, dedicated resources are going to work on those sprints or those particular iterations. Okay, so that is how the uh, Agile works basically. So roles in Agile, so which are the different roles? There are uh, roles are like the Scrum Master is there, Product Owner is there. So what is the role of role Scrum Master is there? Scrum Master is basically a team leader uh, who and the facility provider also who helps the team member to follow the Agile practices so that the team member meets their commitments and the customer requirement. They as well, the product, uh, the Scrum Master also enable the close cooperation between all the roles and the functions they remove all the blocks which occur uh, in the following the agile processes. They safeguard the team from any disturbances because the team has to dedicatedly work on the given uh, agile processes or the sprint for which the particular employee is dedicated. They work. Uh, they also work with the organization to track the progress and processes of the company. They ensure that the agile inspect and adapt processes are leveraged correctly that has to be ensured by the Scrum Master. And this uh, processes, Agile Inspect and Adapt process are what? This includes like planned meetings, daily stand-ups, demo, review, retrospective meeting, and facilitate team meeting and decision-making process. These all things are in uh, place. Then only we are following the Agile methodology perspectives. And, and this all the, to look after this all the thing, so there is one role that is the Scrum Master. Okay, the another role is the product owner. The product owner is one who runs the product from a business perspective. So the product owner plays the following responsibility. So which responsibility is the first? First of all, it's very important. He defines the requirements. What the product is exactly. What requirements do you want to address to that particular product? So he defines the requirements and prioritizes the, their values basically. He sets the release date and content. He takes an active role in iteration and releasing the planned meeting. He ensures that the team is working on the most valued requirement. He represents the voice of the customer. He accepts the user stories that meet the definition of plan and define acceptance criteria. So that is the role of product owner. So we have seen here two roles, Scrum Master and Product. So next one is here, the cross-functional team next topic. So every Agile team contains the self-sufficient team. Every Agile team is working on one task or one sprint is self-sufficient team with five to nine team members. Now why it is self-sufficient? Because it contains the developer, it contains the tester, it contains the technical leader. So all in one. 
so that's why we are saying here that it is a self sufficient team so the average experience of each team member here ranges from 16 years and the agile team contains three to four developers one tester one technical lead one scrum master and one product owner so in this way this is the cross functional team it's a self sufficient cross functional team basically. so how an agile team plan a uh, team plan their work so an agile methodology is not a specific set of ceremonies or specific development techniques are not there it is standard practice so rather it is a group of methodologies that demonstrate a commitment to tight feedback cycles and continuous improvement so an agile team works in iterations to deliver the customer requirement and each iteration takes 10 to 15 days here. so however the original agile manifesto didn't say the time period of two weeks iteration of an ideal team size but here we are assuming like so each user requirement is a plan based and their by backlog prioritization and size needs to be checked so the team decides how much scope they have and how many hours available with each team to perform their planned task within the given time so this is we can say how they plan their work this so when we are saying they 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 plan their work agile team plan their work but before that we have the user requirement so what is the use the requirement so the user requirement defines the requirements of the user in terms of functionalities right means what functions i want in my product okay so as i am a normal user i will say the requirements and that requirements will be converted into the functionalities by the technical team okay so here there may be of two type of functionality first as a user role i want the functionality so that this business value i will get in order to business value as a user on this functionality so these are the two things you can see so during the software release planning a rough estimate is given to user requirement using relative scale point during iteration planning the requirement is broken down into the tasks and tasks are allocated to the different teams or the single team can work on the multiple tasks at time okay so that is about the user requirement now the relationship between user requirement and task because user requirement is something given by the user and the developer is going to work on the task so we need to have for some kind of relation between them right so user requirement talks about what is to be done it defines the needs of user whereas task talks about how it is to be done it defines how functionality is implemented user requirements are implemented by task and every requirement is gathering as the task so user requirement is divided into the different tasks when it is planned in current iteration user tasks are estimated in hours based generally it is between 2 to 12 hours requirements are validated using the acceptance instance once all the requirements are done all the tasks are done then we can say that we need to validate those requirements using the acceptance okay so here the relation between the user requirement and task user story create the task one estimated 8 hours task two estimated 4 hours and the acceptance phase multiple acceptance phase we can uh, have so here we can say that the two acceptance phase the first acceptance phase is pass whereas the second acceptance phase is a fail so in that case we cannot deploy the product to the end user we need to again go through the sprint cycle again do some to the uh, rigorous checking of or what why it is the wider acceptance phase is filled do the modification and again go to the acceptance phase one and two. once all the acceptance phase are clear means pass then only we can go ahead so when the requirement is completed when we are saying when the requirement is completed what is the criteria that so the agile team decides the meaning of task done there may be different criteria for it when the entire task means the development of the task and testing is completed when all the acceptance phase are running and are passed suppose the we are have we are carrying out the five acceptance phase and all the acceptance phase are passed so we can say that the requirement is complete when no defects found when product owner has accepted the requirement and when the software product is delivered to the end user okay so that time we can say the requirement is complete now what is software acceptance criteria so acceptance criteria is basically defined as the functionality behavior and performance required by a product owner so acceptance phase is carried out by the product owner by the end user so when they carry out what they want they want the functionality whatever they they have dictated during the user requirement they want the behavior of the particular software properly performance so these three things basically they check 
it defines what is to be done so that the developer knows when a user requirement is complete. That is the acceptance criteria. So that's all about uh, the some basic discussion about the agile methodology. So thanks.